to. You're not allowed to take pictures. Sorry. Hey! <laughs> what up? What's <laughs> up? Alright guys, so we're here at year 10 of the Chronicles. And it's actually a pretty good turnout. We're here at the Eibach place in Corona, California. And there's a handful, a lot of cars, probably like 100 cars or so. There's music and a lot of people. We got here around 1 p.m. so it's really hot out. I'll try my best to go as slow as possible and make a good video for you guys, but we're super hot out. Um, it's like 95 degrees or like 100 degrees today. But super cool show, a lot of good people. We're gonna hang out and do some cool stuff. Love how they're doing like the wide body now on, on like the Civics, and this one is super clean. I mean, they actually pulled it off, and this wing is insanely cool. Like I like how the wing is with the carbon fiber end plates and stuff. It's like really nice. It's, no wonder they put this one in the front, dude. This is so cool. Let's see, almost perfect. Like a dinner plate. See? Love it. Under there. Oh, nice. Oh, see, I like how they're like etched in there now. So it's not like a sticker or anything like that. It's actually like etched in there. It gives a nice cool touch to them. Put on all these too. They're super cool. Uh, bring back the memories. Maui. If you follow Civics or Type R's in general, you've seen this thing everywhere. No, no, but. but. Michelle is six owner in there. Yeah. They've been doing the build, these swaps for a while. No hood. I think, like, I remember P2R was back in the day, we did one a long time ago in like an Accord or some, uh, not an Accord, uh, something, dude, but they smashed that big ass engine and something. Yeah. People do it. I don't know how it handles. I couldn't be honest with you. I've never driven one with a motor like that in it. Things for drag mainly. I couldn't tell you. Oh my gosh, what do you guys think of this theme? The whole Ke Kevlar, yellow Kevlar thing. Ooh. Little gurney flap. See that too often. Another one. I don't know, I wonder how that handles or how that drives. I'm interested. I did a video on, on the actual picture, but I've seen a black one yet. Oh, yeah, they just came out. And they're really having a chance. That's kind of our first actual viewing of them. Perfect. Well, I should have one in my hands soon then. Spoon SC thousands, things are clean. Oh, the super came on through. Drag car. <laughs> the real Mugen intake. Super rare. You won't see that very much. Extremely rare. You probably never heard of that brand. Insane. Right hand drive. And that's a real Nardi. Nice. Super nice, dude. A lot of carbon. This intake, dude, I, don't, I, see, I haven't seen this one in person yet. We'll, we'll have to do an unboxing on this HK, HKS one, because that looks really, really cool. Slip, too. And this grill and stuff, you guys, is, is sick, dude. Cables, so you yeah, ground control top hats, nice K series in there with the Ram style header, K2 header. Super clean with that dash, too. Oh, wow, carbon intake is fat. 
All spoon, it's a real spoon bar. Spoon valve cover, oil cap. Ooh, a beat rush. Nice. The Prelude? With a K-Series swap? No, just kidding. Super clean though. Super clean old school DA. This thing caught my eye from like way over there. Love it. Love how they did the fitment on it too. Just right there, it's not a scene. It's super clean. Little Bolton cage. Oh, it's right hand drive. Oh, love it. Didn't even notice. Look at it. I'm staring at the motor so much, I don't even notice it's a right hand drive. Wow. So cool. I'm a little biased towards the CB. This thing's pretty cool. Especially a two door coupe. I can't tell what year it is by the front, uh, maybe by the back. That's okay. 92, 93? Love it. This is awesome. It's kind of exactly how I would want to fix it up. <clears throat> Super clean, see? Took the back seat out. CB guys, I'm telling you, dude. Next project car, I'm telling you. We just put a K series inside of it. Love a little scooter going around. Ideas, ideas, ideas. Mm. I still got some love for you Mitsubishi guys, but my last one didn't treat me so well. I'd say you still let us in, even at a Honda show. What's up, Brian? If I see it, I'll say what's up. I see your car, though. You changed it up a little bit, too. You put, like, a little red stripe on it and stuff. Oh, you had a little red... Yeah, so this is kind of new. All right, guys, you want literally a blast from the past. Dude, check this out. <laughs> So this is, I think, a, what, 87-ish? I, I want to say 85. No, but check this out. Check this out! Cassettes. Cassette tapes. You guys, some of you guys watching this video don't even know or even seen those in your life. Or even that right there, the gathers, just a tape player. <laughs> the Japanese Coke, chilling in there. Oh, he's got that Japanese Coke with the real work spell. Uh, thumbs up. <laughs> Look what they tuck here, way back in the corner. They don't want anyone look finding it back here. Ooh, TE37 bronze offset. Oh, jeez. Love it. Look at that thing. Underneath there. Ooh. How bad I want to drive this Oh, dude, I would love to drive I mean, just, oh. One day, it'll happen. And there's the tank. Ooh, look at the carbon, like the army carbon. That's pretty cool. How oh, the weave gives it like kind of like that army look. Phantom composites. Good job, dude. That's really nice. And we found another one. Some zero sports. Just, I mean, these things are super clean. These rims that I saw from a mile away. And I got it right this time. NTO3 plus M's. Not RPF, not like the last video, remember? So you can see it has the spoon N1 muffler. It has all this, the real, Ulta J's racing toe strap, or toe, toe hook. It has the gurney flap, the password JDM one on there. I believe it was built by uh, ICB, or they own it or something, but it's super clean. Ooh, was that S2000 dash? Some Zeal seats. Spoon brakes on there. Calipers. Oh, so they are Desmond's then, because I can see the sticker right there with the little Evo kind of, where they were painted or something. Top one hook to go through the hood. And just a hint, guys, this will add 20 horsepower. Just cut your stock intake. <laughs> this Integra Kamai, this one's super clean. Just kind of all the parts, it's loaded with K-Tune stuff. So you guys can kind of see it installed if you guys have bought anything or looking for the K-Tune stuff. This car is a great example to show you what they have. They got the valve because of breather and then, oh, they actually got the Hossport mount in there too. It's pretty clean. They got the dipstick, the fuel rail. It's got the Katun intake, the couplers, uh, the whole radiator kit. I want to see, I think those are the biggest Rega Masters I've ever seen in my life. I'm normally seeing like 15, 16 inch, dude. What is it, like a 17 or 18? It's an 18 inch, damn. 
Awesome. More of the JDM Japanese brands, I guess, on this show that they're focused on. I mean, these seats are super rare, as you guys would know. Even the, to get like the back stitching to match in the back back there, it's a nice little touch. I like that. And again, these wheels are just killing me. So, oh, so the offset again on a little bit deeper in the back. Look at these gauges, dude. Now imagine just sitting right here. You can like just envision that. Just boom. That's like your view. So dope. Super clean CRX, guys. And what I saw right here was, was kind of original on, on the wheels that he did. It was like put the, like this, I don't know, striping right here. I haven't seen that on any other wheel around here at all, even anywhere a show that I've been to lately. So that's a cool little touch. I really like that. Just raised out on this one. Full, I mean, raised lug nuts. Look at the hood, too. The kind of cool-ass vent. Oh, surprise, surprise. Project. Oh, yeah, no tunnel in there. So obviously they're working on this one. Good start, though. Hey, if you guys are familiar with Desmond wheels, so they have the original white ones that everyone's used to, you know, beautiful wheel but then they're coming out with new colors right here as you can see beautiful beautiful colors what was the color of this one again new almighty gray almighty gray, almighty gray. Yeah. And then you got like a bronze flat bronze flat bronze and then what's this one flat gunmetal flat gunmetal so super clean this one's catching my really nice okay so we're back at the house for some reason the battery on the camera i don't know why i charged it pretty much right before the show full everything and it went out really quick i mean i now even within an hour, I want to say it died. So I'm going to get a brand new one and replace it. I'm not sure why this one died so quickly. So I apologize about that. I tried to get as much footage as I could. The show actually was pretty good. It was kind of small, but actually really nice cars. Again, tried to get some good footage for you guys. I tried my best. Hopefully enjoy the video. But just wanted to say thank you if you did watch it this far. And as you guys always know, live your dream. This is Rob. I'll talk to you later. Bye.